What would I be doing if I had to start all over again to generate $100 a day? The first one is to think about how can you take what you know, your knowledge, life experience, and turn that into a low ticket product. The first sale that I ever made was a $7 digital product in the World of Warcraft market. It was one of the computer games which I spent over a thousand hours on. And I sold this product at $7. Now, if you are looking to generate $100 a day consistently, your first option could be to create a low ticket product, something that's from $7 to about $37 or 50 bucks. Now, this requires time. It requires you to decide what market, what niche do you want to go into and claim your expertise and turn that into a product. Now, this low ticket product, the good news is this could be your own product or this could be a product where you are an affiliate, okay? So think about whatever marketplace that you are in, 100% guaranteed the biggest platforms in that market, they have an affiliate program. So whether it's Amazon for physical products, whether it's ClickBank for digital products, whether you are in the service-based industry, whether it's in travel, they all have an affiliate program. The upside to this is that it is highly scalable, but the downside to this is that this is not gonna happen overnight, okay? Okay, number two would be to develop a high income skill set. We'll talk about what this is in a second. But then that's when you have options. You can either do it for yourself or you can do it for a client where they will pay you good money for your skill set and services. You see, when it comes to selling your own low ticket product, right, for you, you want to think about what is that market and understand that the high income skill set that will fuel your market is really in just traffic, which is social media. It is in understanding marketing and content creation, just like what I'm doing right now. It is all about building a sales process online, sometimes known as a sales funnel, to get more leads, to automate lead gen and convert leads into sales. Just think about where your audience is congregating right now. And when you understand this, that is where you'll be able to understand that you can either deploy it for yourself or do it for somebody else. So let's say you develop this high income skill set on getting more leads through Facebook for a plastic surgeon, okay? If you could get this plastic surgeon five extra walk-ins a month, so let's say a nose job is like maybe 3,000, okay? So five clients multiplied by 3,000. That's 15 grand, right? Do you think this plastic surgeon would pay you $2,000, maybe even $3,000 if you enable this plastic surgeon to get more leads and converted these leads into sales that otherwise would not have exist if not for you? So to develop and scale it far beyond not just the $100 a day, the long-term game is to develop this high income skill set for yourself so that you have the option to sell your own product or deploy it for somebody else. You see, when it comes to selling your own thing, the only thing that you need to be good at is in putting out content, marketing, and ads. So when you create your product, the copywriting, the website, the coding, the design, the logo, that can be easily outsourced. You can easily get somebody on fiverr.com or upwork.com to get it done for you. But you can't outsource this. And even if you do, to get a good person, it's gonna cost you a lot of money, okay? That brings us to number three. You see, this is where it's highly scalable, but requires time. This is also long-term, but what if you need to do something now, okay? So in order to make this thing happen, I would take on the gigs as a freelancer. I'm flipping it around and doing the jobs on Upwork or Fiverr. And this is really for those of you that wants to build this skill set, but you want to experience. This is when you can build up that initial portfolio so that now you're not a theorist, but rather a practitioner. This is a short-term game. And many people get stuck in this game because they get comfortable earning that few hundred, a few thousand dollars a month, and they see no real use to grow. But if you're just starting out and you need the cash flow, you start from here. You start from here by selling your time for money, because this is what this is, right? Being a freelancer. With the bigger picture of documenting your clients 
and their journey as a case study, doing a good job so they can use them as testimonial, turning these case studies and experience to sharpen your sword in when it comes to developing this high income skill set. And again, it's not about being good at all these things, it's about really being good at one thing. So start thinking, do you want to be good at ranking YouTube videos? editing them? Do you want to be great at creating sales processes or sales funnels online? Do you want to be great at Facebook ads? Really focus on that one thing and put yourself out there and be a practitioner by actually taking on clients, being in the trenches so that you develop the high income skill set so that you can utilize this to sell and create your high or low ticket product because that is when now you're building something that is highly scalable and you're no longer trading your time for money. That is literally what I would do if I had to start all over again to generate my first $100 day. Depending on your situation, you gotta decide which method do you want to start with. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment below. Let me know which one resonates most with you based on your current situation. And as always, if you found value, smash on the red subscribe button. Uh, until then, stay awesome. I'm gonna be seeing you in the next video.